for the sign of Pisces. Hello and welcome to my channel. Now you probably decided that a long-term relationship was going to end. If you were sure about that, don't wait for the right time, or at least you should not have waited for the right, for, for the right time. As there is never a good time to tell someone that the relationship needs to be over. So you didn't jump head first into a new relationship. You gave yourself some time, or at least that's what you should have done. And that's what the Eight of Cups, it's paired with the Four of Pentacles. Now this card is about fear. When it comes to relationships, either you Either you are holding on far too tight to a situation or a lover, or someone could have been doing that to you. This clinging is not healthy. Uh, true love, it allows for space between lovers, and no matter what, one never really can control another person. So if you were single and thought that you were ready for a relationship, you probably realize that you will undoubtedly would have to step outside your comfort zone to make it happen because true love just doesn't knock at your door or fall or does it fall out of the sky. That's what the Four of Pentacles, now that's the recent past. Let's move on to the present. We have the Eight of Swords. Now when it comes to relationships and love, the Eight of Swords, it points to a need to seriously reevaluate the relationship. Reevaluate a relationship. You could be sticking. You could be sticking with a person that is actually bad for you. And thinking that it's better than nothing. If that is the case, you need to rethink your thoughts because being in an unhealthy relationship is much worse than being alone. If you are looking for love, first look at how well you love yourself. Someone else cannot come along and fix you. So start where you are. That's the Eight of Swords and it's paired with the Ten of Swords. Now, with this card, it's, it's not a happy card in the tarot. Something about the love situation you are in is not quite right. Ask yourself a lot of questions, accept reality, don't close your eyes to the truth. You cannot force someone to love you or behave respectfully. Okay, as you can see in the picture, uh, that's what it's showing. If you have recently met someone and you're looking for a relationship, keep looking. Uh, the contenders you've met so far, they're not really who they seem. That's with the Ten of Swords. Okay? Uh, as you can see, like I said in the picture, they, you look up, it looks like you could, be meeting some back, you could be meeting some backstabbers, some not really loyal or truthful people at this time. Okay? And so with these two cards paired together, the Eight of Swords, uh, it's a time to reevaluate the relationship that you're in. Make sure you're not just sticking with them because you're afraid to be alone. Okay? And being that it's paired with the Ten of Swords, um, uh, something, about, something about that relationship you're in is not quite right. Um, don't close your eyes to the truth. You can't force someone to behave or treat you respectfully okay so make sure you're with that person for the right reason hopefully this is not your situation or uh, hopefully it's I mean not hopefully but maybe it's the situation of someone that's close to you and we all know someone that's in an unhealthy relationship okay so that's the present now let's move on to the challenge Okay, the Seven of Wands, if you are in a committed relationship, 
Don't hesitate to speak your mind to your lover. This will only improve your relationship as long as you are simultaneously, as long as you are simultaneously considerate of the way in which you speak your mind. If you're single, this card can indicate that you are about to meet someone new from your usual search. It's going to be a different approach. So try something new. The Seven of Wands is paired with the Four of Wands. Now, the Four of Wands, when it comes to love and relationships, it can indicate that your relationship is about to come a whole lot more committed, up to and including potential marriage. If you're looking for love, it shows that special events such as weddings, bar mitzvahs, bars, uh, commitment ceremonies, uh, things like that, of that type of nature. They are a good place to meet someone now. If you're invited to something like that, uh, something special, something extravagant, uh, and you're single, make it a point to go. With these two cards paired together, the Seven of Wands, uh, don't hesitate to speak your mind to your lover. It's going to improve the relationship. Okay? Now, in the present, we talked about uh, unhealthy relationship. So it looks like it could improve because um, you, you decided to speak your mind. And with the seven of, so, seven of Wands, that's a good thing. You need to speak your mind. So obviously, you weren't doing that. So it's improving what situation you had in the present. So you're speaking your mind, it's improved, it's, it has improved the relationship, but you're making sure to be considerate of the way in which you speak your mind. Okay, and it's paired with the Four of Wands. The relationship has, has become a whole lot more committed, so the re relationship has improved. Um, it's moved on to a new level, possible marriage. Uh, it's more committed. Okay, so that's a good thing because the present time um, there was conflict and uh, insecurities in the relationship. So the challenge has improved and now we move on to the outcome. We have the Sun card. Now this is a time if you are in a committed relationship when both you and your lover may be in a more than usual need of space. This is not the time. It is not the time to be whiny, clingy, or needy. If you're looking for love, it definitely could be on the horizon for you. The sun card is paired with the Knight of Swords. You may literally be about to be swept off your feet. Whether you are male or female, if you are currently, if you are currently in a committed relationship, it may be about to become brightened up quite a bit and become a whole lot deeper and more satisfying. If you're looking for love, it may come along when you least expect it. You have to be having some sort of contact with other people for that door to open. So get dressed up and go out on the town and have a great time. With these two cards paired together, uh, the sun card, you and your lover, you may need space at this time. Now is really not the time to be clingy or needy. And it's paired with the Knight of Swords. Uh, someone's coming along to sweep you off your feet, whether you're male or female, okay? So when you get the space, when you take space from your partner, uh, you could be attracting the attention of someone else who wants to be a part of your life, okay? So they may be, someone else may be coming towards you. Uh, and if you're already in a, a relationship already, it could become uh, sweeter, it could brighten up quite a bit. 
uh, but you really don't need to be uh, clingy. Give it some space so that it will um, brighten up because once you give it the space, it's going to uh, make the relationship better. Better. Better.